second source. So this is the power responder. Yes, it's a supercapacitor which packs a lot more energy and is highly reliable. You can't find places to put these, but you can find a place to put this. We basically make power that fits wherever you want to put it, gives you more design options in your backup power, in mobile electronic devices, in any place where you need power to go where your if energy you is. So the company's paper battery. We'll make, you know, we, the name know, of the can, company is can, Paper Battery you know, Company because we, we are very thin and we're an energy want. storage device. So it's a battery? It's so, a hybrid a, a, between a battery and a supercapacitor, which is what this device is. So uh, what, what is a supercapacitor in this kind of product? What, this, you, what is it for? Well, this can do two things. It can hold up your system for a few seconds while you transition from a power loss to a generator. It can also power a non-volatile DIM card, which needs backup power for one minute when system power goes, just to hold all the data that it has. Imagine a RAID card, which is transmitting data, and and power goes, you need something to back the cash up. That's what these devices can do. And the fact that today servers are shrinking, energy density, data density is going up, you need more energy, where are you going to put it? That's the solution we bring. So it says uh, more than five, five times energy density. So for example, um, what you can see is this, this device right now is what today's technology is about. All the servers have this? Many of the servers that use non-volatile DIMMs will have exactly yeah. this pack. Fact, uh, what we do is take twice the amount of energy that you can put in this, and we put that in this volume. So, so is this just a prototype, or is it mass production this already? This is now moving into production right now. We are doing the final qualifications on our last production scale-up. If All right, want, and uh, uh, then the uh, future you, of you want to come back a little bit. Look like this. Uh, I guess yes, they could. You um, could put the power uh, on the wall uh, right here. Rep that we're, you know, one of the guys we were talking to. Just lining the silver and walls with your power backup. You, you know, in fact, it he was right the one who floor to create that and let the airflow go through. You can put it in the drive bay and let airflow go through here. You can put it in the dim slot and actually use that to power uh, neighboring he is going to make a... And how's, uh, uh, how's uh, the heat uh, or uh, the product for price? Because we're so thin, we just allow the, the air to go through, so heat is not a problem. We have an adaptive control system. Price points, we're at price parity with the best devices out there today. Price parity. So uh, it's going to be huge or what? Yes. So what, do we, what were you doing before? We have been developing this technology. For how long? Five years now. Five years. And I'm uh, gonna. Is this the first time you show it? or? We have been working with OEMs now for over two years. Many of them are sampling. Qualification cycles are long, as you know, in this industry. And we're talking to a lot of mobile electronics companies also. What are you showing on this video right there? Curly hair. Yeah. What is this? This video shows a fast charge. So what you can see so is uh, yeah. one minute this charge is, time. As soon as you tool. press that button, it will charge up to what it needs to be run. This thing will be super I'm not sure right now. So right now it's discharged. Okay, this, oh, when you press that oh, button, um, yeah. it will be that. If, if, like, I can show you. In less than a minute, it can be fully charged. We'll just lose yeah, well, it because we keep this on because it powers the display. Okay, but ah uh, yeah, okay. Okay, hmm. so now because I don't, uh, I don't want to, I don't want this, you know, going in and powering the display and the micro and everything like that. Okay, but now we can chart, we can run this. It's this actually running higher that power than the OEM out, battery. Where you can pull now, the battery out you have time and do a hot this? swap between Here, okay. your battery uh, that is dying oh, sorry, and a new battery that you want to put in. We, our device will run it's this charged. phone on a call okay. for 22 minutes if you want it to. 22 minutes. But you do, you can't put one of we our big devices inside the phone. So a smaller device will run it for let's say a minute while you go get your new battery and pop it in. So is that one of the markets you were considering getting into, the smartphones? Well, okay. Battery anxiety can be dealt with in many different ways. Yeah, Wearables, smartphones, like mobile electronic you know, devices, you know, they all need something right like that. And, then we and so you could put something thin separate. inside the phone? That's right. That and keeps it, it going when you swap exactly. the battery? it's a hot swap solution that we are providing. What could be the price for uh, in the smartphone for one of these in there? What's the bill of materials? What is the price to make a last 10 minute emergency call? when you have no battery power left. They would, they would create the end of the you answer that question. 